Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, configure and verify eBGP, that is exterior border gateway protocol. Friends, before coming to the configuration, if you like to get my future uploading video info into our Gmail, you can subscribe the channel right now. Well, we will go through the objectives and the background of this packet tracer activity. Uh, configure and verify eBGP between uh, two autonomous systems. Then uh, here we can see the background in this activity. You will configure and verify the operation of eBGP between autonomous systems 65001 and 65002. Uh, ACME INC is a company that has a partnership with other company and must exchange uh, routes. Both companies have their own autonomous systems and will use ISP as the transit AS to reach each other. Only companies with the very large networks can afford their own autonomous system. Coming to the topology, here we can see the autonomous system 65001 uh, that is ACMES network and here we can see the other network autonomous system 65002. Here we can see our addressing table. We will come to a step one. Configure eBGP in ACME INC. ACME hired an ISP to connect to a partner company called Other Company. The ISP has established network uh, reachability within its network and to Other Company. You must connect ACME to the ISP so that ACME and Other Company can communicate. Because ISP is using BGP as a routing protocol, you must configure ACME1, ACME's border router to establish a BGP neighbor connection uh, with ISP1, the ISP border router that faces ACME. First of all, verify that the ISP has provided IP reachability through its network by pinging 1.1.1.9, the IP address assigned to ISP2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Coming to the topology, here we can see ISP entry 2 and here is our serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Check that. Yes, here we can see. Also, we can see the IP address for this interface 0 0 slash 0 slash 0. It's 1.1.1.9. So, we will ping from this ISP CLI enable. Here we are going to give ping. 1.1.1.9 and here we can see success rate is 100 percent coming to the next uh, from any device inside acme's network ping the other company server that is 172.16.10.2 the ping should fail as no bgp routing is configured at this time right so coming to topology here we can see we can ping from any of this device uh, to this other network server uh, so we here we will use this PC desktop command prompt here we are going to ping here is the address of that server we are getting the message or replay from uh, 192.168.0.1 destination host unreachable coming to C configure ACME1 to become an eBGP pure with ISP1 ACME is AS that is autonomous system number is 65001 while the ISP is using uh, autonomous system number 65003. Use the 1.1.1.1 as the neighbor IP address and make sure to add ACME's internal network 192.168.0.0/24 to BGP. Coming to the topology uh, in this network that is ACMES network, we are going to configure uh, in this router ACME1 CLI enable configure terminal. Here we are going to give router BGP. Yes, here we can see that. Then we have to uh, give the autonomous system number as specified as 65001. Now we will set the uh, neighbor as specified 1.1.1.1 then we have remote as 65003 also we have to set the network 
192.168.0.0 then we have to set the network mask 255.255.255.0 oh here we get an error oops we given incorrectly network 192.168.0.0 then here we can see we have to give the mask then we have to give the network mask 255.255.255.0 next is from any device inside a CMES network ping the other company internal server again does it work right we will check that we will come to the same PC 0 command prompt here is the ping command no we are not getting the replay Next is the network administrator at other company is not familiar with the BGP and could not configure their side of the link. You must also configure their end of the connection, right? Configure other CO1 to form an eBGP adjacency with ISP2, the ISP border router facing other CO1. Other company is under autonomous system number 65002 while ISP is under autonomous system number 65003. Use the 1.1.1.9 as the neighbor IP address of ISP2 and make sure to add other companies internal network that is 172.16.10.0/24 to BGP. Coming to the topology here we can see the router other CO1 and here we can see the ISP2. Here we are going to configure BGP in this uh, router uh, other CO1. Coming to the router CLI Enable configure terminal Router BGP autonomous system number as specified 65002 Now we have to give a neighbor 1.1.1.9 Then a remote as 65003 now we will give the network 172.16.10.0 then the mask 255.255.255.0 now we will come to step 2 ebgp verification a verify that acme1 has properly formed an ebgp adjacency with isp1 the show IP BGP summary command is very useful here. Coming to the router ACME1. Here we are going to give the command show IP BGP summary. And here we can see the details. Autonomous system number. Here we can see the neighbor. Here we can see the autonomous system number 65003. That is a neighbor autonomous system number. Right. Next is uh, use the show IP BGP summary command to verify all the routes ACMEs has lent via eBGP and their status. Right. We have seen that in this router ACME1. Coming to C, look at the routing tables on ACMEs, uh, ACME1 and other CO1. ACME1 should have routes lend about other companies route 172.16.10.0/24. Similarly, other CO1 should now know about ACMEs route 192.168.0.0/24. Coming to the router uh, ACME1. Here we are going to check the routing table. So IP root and here we can see that BGP. Yes, here we can see this uh, router ACME1 land about other networks uh, routes. Now we will check with the router uh, other CO1. Enable show IP root and here we can see that. BGP routes right 
coming to D. Open a browser in any AC, ME, uh, INC, and devices and navigate to other company's server by entering its IP address 172.16.10.2. Right, so we will uh, try from uh, laptop 1. Desktop web browser. Here we are going to give the IP address of our uh, other company's uh, uh, web server. Yes, here we can see we are getting the web page. Coming to the last point from any ACME device, ping the other company's server at 172.16.10.2. Right, we will do it from a laptop 0. Desktop command prompt. Here we are going to ping to our server. Yes, now we are getting the replay. Well, friends, that's all in this packet tracer activity. Uh, configure and verify eBGP, that is exterior border gateway protocol. Here we can see our completion status uh, 6 out of 6. Friends, if you have any doubt in this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb. And again, don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your mail. Thank you.